Today's topic of discussion uh, will be lines and slope. But before starting, let me revise last time what we have done. We have discussed a lot of things. Uh, we have uh, covered the different issues and we came across the situation. We left our topic over here, lines and slope, and then based on that line, we have to draw the things. So this was this is the uh, our today's topic of discussion lines and slopes. So let me uh, draw something onto the screen and then we will discuss one by one. OK, uh, let me give some time to draw <coughs> because I need a scale and all these things properly to be written. OK, so here let's say suppose I'm drawing wait for a moment free hand you draw karna padega mujhe shayad lag raha hai free hand okay let it be free hand run. scale ki use nahi karta so y axis x axis and line to be draw like this okay where where this angle is called theta of 45 exactly 45 degree and there is some kind of uh, x intersection this is called x delta x and obviously slope is exactly one Okay, this is one scenario. Uh, okay, and this is called delta y. So here m can be calculated by delta y by delta x. Okay, uh, in another, this is a first diagram. Let's draw the another diagram. Exactly, yes, straight line. OK. Uh, then uh, I have this point. This point. Uh, I have taken some uh, background grid so that it will be easier for me to draw the straight line and uh, to point out properly. So that's why I've taken that. So this is uh, the straight line to the X axis versus Y axis. OK, where straight which is parallel. We can say. Parallel to X axis, right? OK, and where we can say that slope is exactly zero. Slope is exactly zero. So M is equal to zero and that will be of our that will be of our second case okay now let's draw this third case let's draw the third case right and uh, lines to be draw from here to here okay like this. So this, this is the end points. This is the end points and uh, here we can say that this is X1 X2 point and here we say that M is minus one. OK, M is minus one uh, provided that uh, this angle will be of 45 degree. OK which is making to the X axis here uh, for the right. OK, so in our sense, we can say M is equal to minus one and that will be of our third case. And it's all cases, all three cases, all three figures. OK, all three figures 
are known as are known as gentle slope lines okay gentle t l e t l e chahiye t a l e gentle nahi chahiye spelling mistake here gentle gentle slope lines right so all three cases have very uh, very slow slope okay and uh, we can find it out for example let's consider this first figure and how we can find it out uh, m m can we find it out by using tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side okay opposite side by adjacent side so here tan theta okay by x and where theta can we find out tan inverse of delta y by delta x but uh, we are not requiring a tan uh, angle uh, angle is not required here uh, to be found out but uh, here uh, which is exactly known as m okay delta y by delta x so uh, if somebody is want to find out a theta then we have to take tan inverse this is very rare case we need to find out the angle but uh, by using tan theta uh, we are directly getting the slope of the line okay so this is the first a case we can say gentle slope line okay now moving ahead our discussion to something uh, category b okay which is called steep slope lines steep slopes means uh, we have sharp sharp slope very sharp slopes okay and there are uh, the two cases are there there are the two cases with for the sharp slopes uh, let's say uh, we want to draw x axis and y axis okay only two cases are will be there y and x so suppose this is the very sharp sharp slope okay or otherwise we are drawing uh, we are drawing from here to here okay in other word to say that in other word to say that okay in other word to say that so definitely uh, if we are uh, taking the angle we are taking the angle so it makes the angle more than uh, it makes the angle more than 45 degree 45 degree to 90 degree okay so ranges from 40 degree to 90 degree okay right okay so if we say that what is the what is the slope of a line uh, which is uh, parallel to y axis okay which is parallel to y axis what will be the slope of line which is parallel to uh, line parallel to y axis so m becomes a uh, not zero not zero exactly infinity okay it comes to be infinity look like this one slope is infinite so we also this line is making angle more than means this angle is 90 to uh, something uh, if we add up here 45 degree again okay so that becomes a 270 near, near about uh, 270 values okay right one 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 minute so 90 plus 45 135 nearly 135 ranges okay so 90 90 plus 45 it 
it comes from 135 degree in between that so 90 to 35 uh, jo jo bhi line aayega yahan se log jo bhi line line draw karenge uh, which has the slope uh, maybe the sharp slope okay sharp slope that uh, says that is the sharp slope okay so sharp slope so this are the two uh, illustration with the lines that is a sharp slope versus uh, here um, uh, gentle slope okay here it is gentle slope lines as sharp slope like and uh, somebody uh, are already uh, always tell you that uh, you have to work with this all five cases okay all right so uh, moving ahead this is just a introduction of a lines what is mean by slope and based on the slope uh, it is very important that you should determine how the line look like okay how the line is more inclined toward y axis or y axis or x axis or it is just uh, exactly x equal to y okay uh, parallel to y axis x okay or exactly dono same hai okay based on the slope itself it will be determined okay now let's consider a uh, little bit the case uh, just for a discussion purpose of our discussion purpose let discuss abhi hum ek normal line dekhte hain uh, aap aur hum discuss karte iske bare mein ek bhai line nikalta hu which is more inclined suppose this is the this is this is the my reference uh, uh, reference 45 degree line okay 45 degree means uh, your line in between this ye blue line mein maine line nikala hua hai this is our line uh, okay Uh, more inclined towards x axis so so in between this this right in between this 45 degree in the, in between 45 degree yahan pe ye color nahi dikhta proper so let me erase that color kyunki kya hota hai ki mai mouse se mouse se dikha to lekin screen pe mere khayal se aapke side mein mouse ka cursor nahi dikhta okay so Huh. so let this 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 is the line okay i have drawn which is more inclined now agar aap properly ise observe karenge okay look out the properly observation that this line this line suppose line uh, uh, p line okay p line p line is more inclined towards more inclined towards x axis ओके देन वाई एक्सिस अगर हम हम इस डायरेक्शन में मूवमेंट करते हैं इफ यू आर मूविंग फ्रॉम दिस डायरेक्शन नाउ ऑब्जर्व दैट अगर हम ऑब्जर्व दैट हम प्लॉट करते ये ये पॉइंट ये पॉइंट लेट लेट मी मैग्नीफाई लेट मी मैग्नीफाई ओके लेट मी मैग्नीफाई एंड आई विल टेक लेट मी मैग्नीफाई एंड सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू प्लॉट दिस पॉइंट आई वॉन्ट टू प्लॉट दिस पॉइंट i want to plot this point this point this point here 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 ye point mujhe plot karne hain for example okay now look out look out the sense okay suppose i am moving from here to here zero to something uh, x direction horizontally okay horizontally so what happen this is our one 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 raster okay we have the sample taken we have sample taken which is equalized equalized in 11 okay and more aap isko aur bhi kar sakte i am uh, uh, let let consider this is zero okay mera zero thoda us side mein chala gaya but lekin maan ke paan ke chale mera diagram uh, itna i am not सो परफेक्ट इन डायग्राम बट मान के चलो ये जीरो जीरो ओरिजिन है ओके नाउ इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द करस्पॉन्डिंग वाई 
ओके करस्पॉन्डिंग वाई सो ये ये कौन सा है ग्रे ग्रे पेंसिल है वन एम एम नहीं ये नहीं चलेगा चलो छोड़ो ये ये लेता हूँ मैं ब्लैक का ब्लैक में वेरी माइनोट लाइन लेता हूँ लाइन चलो ये कुछ तो भी आया हुआ है करस्पॉन्डिंग करस्पॉन्डिंग में वाई एक्सिस प्लॉट करता हूं उसका ओके लुक आउट मैं ये इलिस्ट्रेशन क्यों बता रहा हूं आपको क्योंकि इससे हमें कुछ गेनिंग है आज डिस्कस करने का ओके okay, राइट right? ये कभी कभी बच्चों को समझ में नहीं आता कि हाउ द स्लोप और क्यों सर कहते कि एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस वन बट वाई इज इक्वल टू नॉट वाई प्लस वन वाई प्लस वन मीन एक्स प्लस एम और एक्स प्लस समथिंग वन बाय एम विच इक्वल टू वाई वाई दिस इज टेलिंग ओके सो I will write this again. So, what I am saying, y is equal to x plus m. X is not, y is not incrementing by unit. Unit means one. Okay, unit means one. Suppose x is incremented by unit vector, unit. Okay, x is incrementing by one, one, one in this direction. Our x-axis has gone. Okay. This is x-axis. Okay, so x is incrementing x next. Okay, incrementing x previous plus one always. Okay, so now look out one plus one two plus one three plus one four plus one plus one plus one. So we are incrementing x unitly. Okay. constantly but corresponding corresponding y is not incrementing y is not incrementing unitly okay right so graphics mein aisa hi hota hai ki ek koi bhi constantly increment karo aur corresponding y value find out karo okay chahe to y यूनिटली इंक्रीमेंट करो करस्पॉन्डिंग एक्स वैल्यू शुड बी फाउंड आउट ओके यू गॉट दैट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट विच वैल्यू मीन्स एक्स वैल्यू और वाई वैल्यू यू हैव टू इंक्रीमेंट बाय वन दिस इज गिवन बाय द स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन ओके द डिसीजन कि मुझे x में यूनिट इंक्रीमेंट करना है या y में यूनिट इंक्रीमेंट करना है ओके सो यूनिट इंक्रीमेंट इन x और y, दैट क्वेश्चन नीड टू बी आंसर दैट क्वेश्चन नीड टू बी आंसर ओके सो दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी आंसर बाय आंसर बाय getting the slope of the line slope of line slope of line will answer this question exactly slope of the line will be answer now suppose if we draw the slope of the line which is more inclined towards towards x axis so अभी हमने देखा जस्ट वेरी अपवर्ड वेरी अपवर्ड दैट जेंटल स्लोप लाइन व्हेन इट इज एक्सैक्टली मेड द 45 डिग्री द द स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन इज एक्सैक्टली वन ओके ये हमने जस्ट देखा व्हेन एम इज इक्वल टू वन मींस दैट लाइन मेक्स एन एंगल 45 डिग्री विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स एक्सिस राइट but this line is and also we have seen zero okay zero means uh, making angle zero degree zero degree with respect to x axis this is also seen 
right? So now let's consider the case in between these, right? So we have to state like when m and when m greater than zero, less than one, then line, then line, okay, lies between, then line lies between, uh, or it makes the angle zero to 45 degree to x axis, isn't it? Okay, so ye condition aapne yaad rakhni hai. Zero, when slope of the line is between zero to one. Okay, zero to one means definitely it is positive one. Okay, right, it is positive one. So, agar exactly one hota hai, to ye 45 degree ka hai Agar exactly uh, zero hoga, to ye parallel to x axis hoga, right? Parallel to axis, it is exactly onto onto the. It will not. It is not making any uh, angle with the line x. Right. So this is the this is the one of the condition that we have deduced. Okay. So is tarah se is tarah se hume this one. Okay. What will be the happen? What will be the happen when slope between one to infinity okay so it makes the lines lines with the angle 45 degree to 90 degree to axis okay so this is the two cases right and in that way you need to decide which on which unit increment will be happen. OK, now suppose this is the line makes angle uh, within this, this slope. OK, 0 to 1. So unit increment will be happen in X axis. Am I clear? Am I clear to you? Unit increment will be happen in X axis. Asa Q hai? Because this line is more inclined towards x axis. So, this is the same Properly handwriting is not the same as the Unit increment will be happen x plus 1. Okay, x plus 1. Y increment need to be find out here. It is so simple. It is so simple. You have to take a little bit. Okay, so line more inclined towards x axis so what happens to this is more inclined x axis so what happens to this is more inclined x axis so what happens to this is more inclined x axis so what happens to this is more inclined x axis so what happens to this is more inclined x axis so what happens to this is more inclined x axis so what happens to this is more inclined x axis so what happens to this is more inclined x axis so what happens to this is more inclined x axis so what happens to this is more inclined x axis so what happens to this is more inclined x axis so what happens to this is more inclined x axis so what happens to this is ये लाइन कुछ इस तरह से होगी यस yes, इस तरह से इस तरह से मोर इंक्लाइन मोर इंक्लाइन टुवर्ड्स ये लाइन मोर टी लाइन इज मोर इंक्लाइन टुवर्ड्स वाई एक्सिस ओके सो यूनिट इंक्रीमेंट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव विल बी हैपन इन वाई डायरेक्शन ओके y direction तो हम क्या करेंगे क्या करना होता है as per algorithm y will be y plus one and corresponding x value need to find out क्योंकि x में minute changes हो रहा है x में fractional changes हो रहा है बहुत कम changes x direction में आ रहा है right okay समझ में आ रहा है ये graphics के primitives है तो ये सब ये जो fundamentals है ये किसके base के ऊपर है full slope के ऊपर Slope, okay, right. The slope now here uh, between one to infinity. Ye is line the slope kya one to infinity. Samaj mein aara? Uh, idea is carried out. Okay, so 
कौन से इसमें इंक्रीमेंट करना है ये बहुत प्रॉब्लमेटिक केस होती है बच्चों को या स्टूडेंट को समझने में कि हमने एक्स में ही क्यों इंक्रीमेंट किया हमने वाई में ही क्यों इंक्रीमेंट किया ओके सो आंसर इज नॉट माई आंसर इज बाय गिवन बाय यू इट सेल्फ यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट क्योंकि इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ लाइन इज इट इट द लाइन इज मोर इंक्लाइन टूवर्ड्स वाई एक्सिस तो उस तो इसे पुट इट इन अनादर वर्ड the 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 line makes the line having slope between one to infinity parallel one to infinity un uske beech mein iske beech mein koi bhi line aane do usme hum kya karenge standard unit increment will be happen in y axis correct and then if the slope of the line is between 1 to 0 i am talking about all positive values do not get confused all positive values and still we have considering still we are considering in quadrant 1 okay dear students i am not here to confuse you but tabhi bhi aap confuse hote hain okay confuse hone ki koi zarurat nahi crystal clear hai thoda dhyan do yahan pe तो बहुत इजी हो जाता है ये टॉपिक हमारे लिए एकदम आप नींद में भी अगर समथिंग अरे क्या स्लोप है उसका ये अगर स्लोप देते हैं तो लाइन कौन से क्वार्टर में होंगे कितना कौन से डिग्री में उसका एंगल रहेगा ओके बेस्ड ऑन दैट समथिंग सम यू रिक्वायर्ड सम इमेजिनेशन ओके वह क्योंकि ग्राफिक्स है आपको टॉम एंड जेरी किस तरह से इमेजिन करना पड़ेगा राइट इमेजिनेशन चाहिए थोड़ा यस yes. तो यू विजुअलाइज दैट थिंग ओके लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अवर फर्स्ट केस Zero to one line lies between uh, zero to forty-five degree angle. In that case, it it is more inclined toward x-axis. So x-axis में unit increment करना है हमें x में एक 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 बढ़ाना है और corresponding y value ढूंढना है plot करना है. That's it. Okay, it's so simple. It's so simple. So अगर ये fundamental आपके clear हो गए होंगे, तो मैं सामने चलता हूँ so that we will discuss. digital differential analyzer okay and digital differential analyzer algorithm and the illustration after that and this we will revisit to this maine sirf ek hi bataya aapko 0 to 1 1 to infinity infinity to minus 1 minus 1 to 0 in second quadrant go as on like this okay baad mein for time being no confusion for no confusion okay automatically samajh jata hai wo ek ek koi bhi cheez humne concrete kiya to dusri cheez automatically samajh jati hai okay us tarah se hai to ye agar samajh mein aaya aaya hoga ki agar slope agar slope 0 to m hai matlab i am talking about this case to unit increment must be happen in x if slope is between these unit increment will be happen in y That's it. Okay, ये concrete कर लो, make it concrete. Okay, we will revisit to this concept in couple of minutes while discussing their again sub part, part A, part B, part A, part B. Okay, wait a minute. Moving ahead to the topic, digital differential analyzer. Okay, write down digital. different shell analyzer digital differential analyzer this is also abbreviated as dda algorithm okay digital differential analyzer digital differential algorithm nahi hai okay ye see uh, in objective type question that question lot of time this question was asked uh, what is the long form of a dda and uh, there will be four option digital different analyzer digital different algorithm digital differential uh, xyz jo bhi hoga none of the above so most of the people have selected an algorithm because you are writing algorithm na no this is not an algorithm 
means uh, abbreviation is a digital differential analyzer. OK, so let's say we start with our illustration and their concept. Uh, write it down also along with me also uh, while discussing. Uh, let's say we know that. We know that. Uh, so somebody sometimes also you have been asked to write a short notes on DDA. That time these uh, notes can be very important to you. OK, these notes can be very important to you. DDA. Uh, we know that the equation of line, equation of line uh, of a straight line. Is what is the straight line? Y equal to MX plus C. Right, so where where M is M is slope and C is the Y interception Y intercept, right? Then the slope between the slope between let's say point X1 Y1 to X2 Y2 can be written can be found like this. M equal to Y2 minus Y1 upon X2 minus X1 right where M can be says that uh, difference in Y is this way difference in Y. OK, and D D difference in X or we can also have the form uh, delta Y by delta X. OK, slope is also called as gradient. Gradient means slope, OK, also called as gradient. Now let's the point. Now let's the point. Let's the point. Which point? Let's say uh, let the points are. Let the points are. X K Y K. Now we are talking about general OK and. X K plus one next one OK. K, sorry, K. Here it is required K. Mera writing me thoda. K, K plus one. Ye K ho gaya, K plus one. Uska next wala. Okay. Comma Y K plus one. Okay. You always uh, make a difference between X plus one. Sorry, X plus uh, X plus. Ye do chizo me apra dhan dena hai hamesha. While writing, uh, see, while talking about x k plus one, and while talking x k plus one. Okay, ye no difference is there. Uh, this is whole is subscript. This is only one subscript. Okay, rest of things is plus one. But here, this is called a next. This is means uh, previous value plus one. Okay, previous value plus one. But this is means the next pixel. OK, next term. Always so yet is a hand for a hand in a like OK, so definitely you take uh, the note of that while discussing uh, and while while writing down, you must be write very properly the subscript as superscript and uh, also square. OK, consa X plus one. Hai. This is next next pixel. OK, K Y K plus one. OK, uh, right. Then the slope, then the slope uh, we can say here can be written as Y in generalized form K plus one minus of Y K divided by X K plus one minus X of K in generalized form. OK, in generalized form. As a two point. OK, right. So in this way. Uh, 
so m uh, suppose uh, somebody can be referred as somebody can be referred as uh, uh, aisa bhi koi koi log use kar sakte hai suppose this is the end point x e y e and two end points are given uh, sorry this is x s y s starting point and x end y end कोई 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 एब्रीवेशन में ऐसे भी लिखते हैं कि एक्स स्टार्ट एक्स एंड देन द स्लोप कैन बी रिटर्न इन दिस फॉर्मेट विल बी वाई एंड माइनस वाई स्टार्ट एक्स एंड माइनस एक्स स्टार्ट सिंपल वेरी सिंपल इट इज सो डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू ओके नाउ मूविंग अहेड अगर ये समझ में आया होगा कि ये दिस इज हमने ये जनरलाइज मोर जनरलाइज केस लिया हुआ है जनरलाइज case discussed over here in here okay so next uh, next uh, end points minus previous point uh, ka y value divided by difference between this now this this is the concrete one now moving to the case 1 uh, moving to let's say discuss case 1 okay for the value for value where m is less than 1 where m is less than 1 then abhi aap imagination kar pa rahe hai m is less than 1 agar nahi hote hai to ye line draw karo chahe to okay 45 degree nahi nikalna hai agar 45 degree nikalte hain this is the 45 degree line where m is always 1 aur iska m is 0 मतलब m लेस देन वन बोला है तो इन इसके बीच में ही ये लाइन रहने वाली है और जस्ट हमने देखा जस्ट हमने देखा x विल बी x प्लस वन करना है यूनिट इंक्रीमेंट यूनिट इंक्रीमेंट विल बी इन x डायरेक्शन इन x ओके सो 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 वी कैन राइट डाउन so so x k plus 1 okay what i am writing here x x k plus 1 that is next pixel next pixel will be equal to x k plus 1 dear students uh, will you able to distinguish between these two factors the next pixel will be calculating previous pixel plus 1 karna hai x k plus 1 maine abhi aapko iska difference bataya okay unit increment unit increment will be happen in pre adding one in previous pixel okay it will be getting the next pixel this is the next pixel right okay to so, uh, in 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 the, in mathematical terms this is to be written xk plus 1 will be equal to xk plus 1 pronunciation me same hai okay pronunciation me same hai there is no difference between in pronunciation xk plus 1 equal to xk plus 1 both same hai both same hai but in consideration in consideration and uh, thinking is different x c here in while underlining my underline karta hu yahan se this part this part is say next pixel next pixel will be calculating is equal to previous pixel previous pixel plus 1 samajh mein aa raha hai to how to how to uh, how to represent it in the form of equation in equation mein hum is tarah se likhte k plus 1 being next equal to k plus k sorry x k that is previous pixel plus plus karo one karo right i think idea is carried out now moving ahead put it into the slope form put it into slope form so okay put it x will be here put into m see here y k plus 1 minus of y k divided by x K plus one minus of 
x k okay all right now but here but here x k plus 1 okay x k plus 1 is unit okay is unit minus x k is always one if you observe that this factor this factor will be denominator will be one okay denominator will be one why denominator will be one because unit increment unit increment will be happening in x direction so suppose uh, we are writing Uh, or let's substitute this over here uh, the value of x k plus one. So this equation comes to be y k plus one minus y k, and now this term should be replaced. Okay, which term will be replaced by x k plus one minus x k? This term get cancelled out, and it will remain the one. Okay, right? So y k plus one minus y k upon one. So ultimately, okay, ultimately, ultimately y k plus one minus y k. So what will what will the value of y k? Y k, okay. So let let's uh, interchange the side, interchange the side. So y k. Plus one, no, not interchanging. Just, just uh, transfer this to the left hand side or right hand side. So it will become so uh, m plus y k. Okay, m plus y k. So, what does it mean? Observe now. Next pixel in y. Next pixel in y. That is k plus one will be previous y k. Plus slope. Okay, previous y k plus slope. In therefore, this this is our therefore this is our solution. Okay, this is our solution. In case one that we have discussed. Okay, case one will be discussed. What is the case one here? When the value when the value of m less than one in between one. अगर हमने x में यूनिट इंक्रीमेंट किया तो y में कितना इंक्रीमेंट होगा y में इंक्रीमेंट होगा ये वाला ओके okay? y k y k मींस y k प्लस वन इक्वल टू y k प्लस m m से इंक्रीमेंट होगा m से इज इंट इट एम से इंक्रीमेंट करना पड़ेगा जितना भी स्लोप आएगा वो स्लोप हमें Previous value of y to be added, okay? उसमें add करना पड़ेगा कितना one नहीं डाल सकते हम क्योंकि unit increment नहीं हो रहा है fractional में हो रहा है तो slope जितना आएगा उतना का increment करना पड़ेगा right? Isn't it? तो ये हो गया ये चीज ये चीज बहुत important है so हमें एक हमारा पहला case मिल गया कि value of okay Let it be. So let it be case two now. Case two. You do it fast. Uh, I think we have five minutes left. Uh, let's say case. Case two. What is the case two? For all value m greater than one. M greater than one means what? Your line will be. This is forty-five degree. Okay. Uh, one se upar hai. So your line may be. Uh, may be. You may be reside. In this here, your line. Okay, so line will be this means uh, this is exactly one equal to m equal to one, and this is exactly infinity m equal to infinity. So in between these two, in between these two. So definitely, definitely, definitely y coordinates y coordinates will change. Okay, will change, will change. So, so we can write it down. Y k plus one will be y k plus unit. 
instead of that, right? And put it this into our slope intercept form. So put it this in m equal to y k plus one minus y k upon m k plus one minus sorry m ni x hai. x k. Now put this into this form. So what we'll be getting uh, y k plus one minus y k divided by x k plus one minus x k. These terms get cancelled out, and you will be getting one upon one upon uh, one upon uh, x x k plus one minus x k and m. Cross multiply it. Cross multiply it. Uh, then it it comes to be it comes to be x k plus one equal to x previous k plus 1 by m. Got it now? Got it now? So uh, in for case 2, for case 2, we can say that y k that is next value will be incremented by 1 while, while x value will be incremented by previous value of k plus slope but slope aisa nahi 1 by slope 1 by m karna padega to ye mil gaya hame second case ke liye and what happened to the case 4 case 3 that is case 3 we can say that when m is equal to 1 m is equal to 1 means either or you can have sorry uh, drawing kidhar gaya uh, 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 either or um, both both coordinates means x or y can be incremented incremented by one by one okay likewise x k plus one will be x k plus one and next value of y k plus one will be previous value of y k plus one so both direction mein bade gai. Okay. In the same way, how we can plot? We can plot. Agar ye bade raha hai, ye bhi bade raha hai, ye bhi bade raha hai, ye bhi bade raha hai. So x1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So ye line, straight line, 45 degree mein aega. Okay. So this is the uh, cases. That three cases is very important towards. Uh, uh, okay. So now I think exactly 2 o'clock is there. Uh, let's uh, me finish uh, for today's session. Uh, we will carry forward the, our discussion from here itself and we will discuss seeing the for the reverse line also. Reverse line. Okay. So in that case, uh, we will uh, discuss in next time.